What up, what up, what up, what up, y'all? The straight drop bully kid. Coming to tell y'all a story. Let y'all know what we got going on. Uh, we got an up and coming, a breeding that we're trying to do that, that, that we got underway. But our yard stud, Big Shot, AKA Shotty. This is our bitch Gully. This is gonna be her first heat. This is actually gonna be her, this is actually her second heat. This is gonna be her first litter. This is gonna be his second litter. Her first litter, second heat. His first litter. Um, but we got a story to tell about how we got in the game and a big, a big loss that we took when we first got started. Um, so, I purchased a, a, a female dog when I first got in the game, when I moved down south. I've been, I've been dealing with the dogs for a very long time. I spent buku dollars on dogs, bullies, old school pits, you name it. Uh, 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 micro, I had a micro at least 10, 12 years ago before I knew what micros were. Like I just saw it, no papers on it, I bought it. Dude told me he had papers coming and never came. Yeah, I know how that shit go. But I bought a pocket female uh, from Carolina Bully Farms. Her name is Nike. She was a beautiful dog. We loved her. And I was looking for a, a breeding pair. So I got on YouTube, started rocking, 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 watching everybody, seeing what the game was doing, what was happening. And I found TWT Bull. They had the, you know, the, the mini bulls, as they call them. So they had Shadi's little mate brother, his name is Legend, uh, a, a, a chai, nice, nice boy. So I got on the phone with Doug, TWT Bulls, asked him to deal with any more of those bucks. Uh, he pointed me in the direction to find his dog, little mate brother. Boom, here comes Shadi. So I paid 2500 for Nike. 2500 for Shadi. Did my time, you know, um, raised them up so they could mature. The Nike came into her second week. Boom, I learned how to do the AIs. Did my AI. Boom, produced a litter of pups. Um, so throughout my two years that I was, you know, raising the dogs and, and, and allowing them to mature, I spent a lot of time on YouTube. You know, just watching the game, learning, seeing what everybody had going on. And, you know, I, I, I would notice that everybody, when they when they, when they they had their litters, they had uh, heat implants in the welcome boxes. So, boom. I, 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 I do my AI, my bitch go term, schedule my uh, C-section, and I bring eight puppies home. So while they were at the vet getting the C-section done, I run the track to supply. I had built my weapon box, I run the track to supply by three heating lamps, you know. I'm the kind of guy that thinks less is, more is better. In all actuality, less is more. So I buy three heating lamps, I, I hook them up, and I get the pups home. I'm like super excited, so slept with them that night, and no sleep on them. But I'm, what I failed to realize was that I didn't realize what 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 time of month that um, these guys were dropping these litters. I didn't realize uh, what climates they were in. So you know, these guys were in cold climates. You know, maybe had the dogs in, in, in cold places. Thus, there was the need for the heating lamp. But me, when I when I when I when I, I had just bought my house when I when I when I bought these dogs in my garage, it, it holds heat, you know, even in the winter. I mean it does get cold in here, but if I if I did a litter in the winter time, I probably would maybe have one heat and lamp up high. But not like I did it. I had them directly on the dogs, three times times three, and basically I cooked my litter. And the, my first sign that I was doing something wrong was that my female, the night we brought her home, she was like huffing and puffing, like pain, like, <laughs> like out of breath, like just, you know, I'm thinking, oh, she just had surgery, but 
she's hot. I'm, 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 I'm like cooking her, like, you know? Like, I touch her and she's like on fire. So I wake up that morning. I fell asleep in the garage with the girls. I wake up to three dead puppies. Boom. Tragedy. Um, two more days go by, the puppies are just dying off. Boom, boom, boom. They like not doing right. I take them to the vet. She, I tell her what happens and she said, yo, YouTube could, could help you or hurt you. In my case, YouTube, from me watching with the lack of knowledge, it hurt me because one puppy survived out of the eight puppies that I brought home. And from the trauma from overheating them, that puppy ended up deaf. So that was like my epic fail with my first litter that I ever produced. And you know, that hurt me, you know what I mean? I was looking forward to seeing those dogs mature. And you know, the one puppy that did live, I, I placed him with a homie of mine in uh, Fayetteville. And I regret giving him away, even though he ended up deaf because he's, he's like, super, super dope. Even though I went pocket to micro, you know, I bought the pocket first, so of course, I was gonna use the dog that I spent my money on. And and, 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 and from what I produced with the dog that did survive, even though he was deaf, he was smoking hot. I, I wish he was still a part of my program. He came, he, he's dope, you know. I produced a dog that was shorter than the pocket that I purchased and taller than the micro that I had. So, you know, 2,500 a piece. When I suffered that, I immediately went out and I purchased uh, another micro, Miss Zoe. Another 2,500 from Doug at TWT Bulls. Did my two years, almost two years. She's in her second heat now. Um, she's 18 months old. And we've been, you know, we went through the progesterone testing and so on and so forth. And I've been doing AIs for the past three days on her, um, and this is what we got going on, you know what I mean? Shadi is exactly what we want to produce, like, you know, like, I love this dog, like, his body structure, his temperament, his, his tone, his, his, his mass, his dirt, everything, like, to me, this is the look that I'm going for, and this bitch here, also love everything about her. You know, she 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 come her mom is a is an exotic. Her dad is is, is 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 a micro full of bodies. And you know this is what we got in the works. We we, we putting this thing together. We are excited about what we're doing. You know I'm looking forward to the breeding. Y'all stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Um you know I learned a lot from that first experience losing a whole litter of badass pups. But again, you know what I'm saying? You put your work in, you, you, you do what you gotta do, you stay steadfast, stay down, maintain like a real G supposed to, and here we are again, back at it. I didn't let that discourage me, but like I do have a passion for dogs. Like I said before, I've been dealing with dogs for the longest time. But my biggest thing with the dog game, and, and, and I believe why I I, I wasn't like a, 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 a success with the dogs because I, I I always was moving around. I never I didn't I didn't own my own house. You know I was always moving from place to place. Um, you know I was in and out of prison. You know so when I when, we, when me and my family moved to to the, to the south and we purchased our first home. Here we are, like, you know what I mean? I've been able to keep a set of dogs for long enough to actually do some breedings and, and, and study my dogs and get in tune with my dogs and, you know, take my bumps and bruises, straight drop bully camp. We here, we trying to build, we're, we're building a program, you know what I'm saying? And um, with, with, with our pocket Nike that we got from Carolina Bully Farms, we did not abandon her. When that didn't work out, I, I, I it was my lack of knowledge. I, I, we sent her to Georgia, to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law's house, placed her. She's a, a, a pet for them now. She actually just had a litter with, you know, a dog that from, that's from there. I had, nothing, I had nothing to do with it, but she's in a great place. 
And the reason why I got rid of her is because, like I said, I bought her. Um, I didn't know that, you know, like she was a, you know, she was a pocket. She was like what I thought I wanted. But once I got a whiff of these micros, I, I went and got my boy here, big shot, and you know, replaced her with another micro. You know, going micro to micro because that's what we are, what we're after. So like when I decided to put these two dogs together the micro and the pocket, I just had a vision of chopping the pocket down with, with, with the micro and, you know, building my program around that. But, you know, such as life, things happen, and this is where we are. So, um, we've been doing this, this, we've been breeding them every day for the past three days. Um, I took her, to, when, I, when I took her to get a progesterone test, she was a five the first day, they told me to bring her back. The second day I brought her back, she was a 7.5. Then they told me to, to, to start hitting the day after that. So, you know, we've been, we, 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 this, is, this was our third day hitting, doing the AI. We're gonna do another AI tomorrow. That's one of the views of, you know, having this stud on the yard, you know, only the dogs. I don't really know how it goes when you uh, purchase a stud. I don't know if you get a week's worth of hitting or how many days, I don't know if we get one shot or whatever the case may be, but we have the liberty of waking up every morning, doing our, 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 our regimen, you know what I mean? We go out, we, we clean the cages, we let the dogs out, let them get some time to run around and play, bring them in here, get them together, do the AI, do the collection, do the AI, and you know, we, we, we've been going on. That's the beauty of, you know, having your own space and owning your dogs, the stud and the bitch. And this is who we are. We're looking forward to it, as you guys can see. Bring them, bring them a little closer to the dogs, man. Like, like, let them see the dogs. You know, get some, get some close-ups of the dogs. You know what I mean? My cameraman is my son, my 11, my 11-year-old older son, Amar. This, this, this is my, uh, this is my kennel partner, Amar. You know what I mean? And, and, and we out here, y'all. We trying to do something, man. We trying to bring some heat. You know what I mean? Y'all see what we working with. You know what I mean? This ain't no bullshit. This ain't no poop shit. This ain't no backyard shit. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, we here, man. Um, it's, 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 it's August now. We, 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 from the time we started doing our AIs, we are looking for uh, October 20th due date, 2021, with our dogs. So be on the lookout, you know? This bring bring the camera up to me, right? So I've been waiting so long to say this, right? Like and subscribe. Peace.